Hello friends, this is Tim Schrock. Today we are going to put custom tile in a shower niche. Hold on. All right, friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I am working on in Chief Architect Premier version X10 on my iMac desktop computer. Let's get into it. Here is the tile we want to use. Here is the niche. Um, as I zoom in on this, I cannot take a, a uh, screen grab of this because of the uh, tools that the, that the website is using for zooming in and out of the texture. So what I did was I went into full screen. You don't want to grab right on the gray tile because that line would line up with right on the um, gray, you know, if, if we go from the gray corner tile to the gray corner tile like this, you would have gray tile touching each other with every tile that every uh, copy of that texture. So we want to actually have a white bit of border f to mimic, you know, the grout lines. Um, so if we zoom in on this, all right, so you're going to have to follow my mouse here. I'm going to give about half of this um, grout line that's here. I'm going to start with my texture screen grab right about here and I probably would go to approximately here or so uh, on the on the screen grab. Now I've already created a screen grab and I put it in my Chief, Ar Chief Architect Premier X10 data folder under the textures folder. You can search for uh, Chief Architect Premier X10 data or X9 data or X8 whatever version you've got and find that textures um, and I've got that screen grab right there. You can see there's a bit of white on this edge, on the top edge, on the right edge, and the bottom edge. So we're going to go into my user catalog and I've got created my materials folder in the tile. I'm going to right click and a new material. Glass, water, napier, we'll call it that. In my textures, I'm going to grab my source file. Uh, we're going to go into documents. This is where my X10 data folder resides under documents, textures, glass, water, napier. Click open. And there's what it would look like as it's rendered in, in, the, uh, in the model. I'm going to create a bump map with the same tile. And we're, let's give it, let's invert it. Whoops, I'm going to try to zoom in without, there we go. So you can see what the invert does. Invert makes it look like, I think, just a little better. Do we need 0.01 or 0.2? Whoops. 0 0.01, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 2, 3. 3 is too much. I like 2. And click OK. There's our glass water napier. I'm going to drop that in there. Now it might be too large. So let's right click and open that object. Texture, let's say that is uh, 12, not 20 by 20. It's 12 by 12. And we're going to paste that right over here. That's much better. All right, so quickly we've taken our screen grab of our of our custom texture and uh, 
plop, put it, placed it in our in our library, and then applied that to the texture of the of the niche. Hey, I hope this has been helpful for you. Tried to make it a quick tip. Uh, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to learn uh, that that is frustrating you, whether that's modeling or um, documents or terrain, you name it, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, and uh, that gives just gives me ideas for future Tech Tip Tuesday videos. As always, like and subscribe right down there. Click the notification bell and you will get notified each week as I upload these Tech Tip Tuesdays uh, videos. I've had a blast sharing this with you. I hope you've learned something. Um, as always, have a wonderful week.